I'm Kaito Norizuki. I work as an attorney. There you are, Mr. Norizuki. Got a minute? We got a new client coming, and everyone's gone. Oh, uh, sure. I'll handle it. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm Kaito Norizuki, attorney at law. Kaito... Norizuki? There was this kid in my high school with the exact name. Oh, what a coincidence. It's a pretty rare name. Yeah. Um, my name is Sakura Besho. I... I want to get a divorce. That's why I came here today. I see. I can certainly help you with that. Besho. There was a guy named Besho in my class, but... No, it can't be. So, if you're here, I'm assuming your husband is saying no to the divorce? Could you tell me a bit more about him? Yeah. So we went to the same high school. A few years after college, we ran into each other in the city and... We started dating, then got married. His name is Kazuya Besho. Kazuya Besho? Um, if you don't mind me asking, which high school did you go to? Huh? Oh, uh, Sekafushi High. Um, how old are you? Uh, 33. Wait, is your maiden name Mogawa? What? How did you... Wait, are you... No way! Is it really you? Norizuki? Yeah. Oh, wow. What are the odds? I wasn't expecting this. Wow. Mogawa, I mean Sakura. So, you married Besho, huh? Yeah, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. So I asked her a few more questions. Looks like she had it pretty rough. Her husband was violent. He threw things at her and beat her when he was in a bad mood, and he never paid for anything. He even stole money from her account. I called the cops many times, but they couldn't help. He always played the good husband in public, and he was a chronic liar. I told him I wanted a divorce many times. But every time I do that, he yells at me. Eventually, I just stopped trying. I'm scared all the time, you know? But... but... I hired a private investigator to look into my husband. He was cheating on me all along, and his mistress is pregnant! <sighs> I hear you. It must have been hard. Do I have to go to trial? Well, for starters, we have to file for divorce mediation at a local family court. And if that doesn't work, it could go to trial. Oh... I didn't know that. Don't worry though. These photos, this will work to your advantage. Do you keep a diary? Well, I got a blog. But it's one of those blogs that nobody can read. It's just for me. Paper is better, but it'll work. Next, you should leave the house immediately. You should go to one of those shelters. You found this place by coincidence, right? <laughs> Lucky you. The family court is right around the corner. And you gotta pay your lawyer by the hour, so... The closer it is, the better. I see. No worries, we got more than enough evidence. I'm sure it won't go to trial. I'll do everything I can to help. Huh, I wasn't expecting this. Hey, nerd! All you ever do is study! You're such a loser. Besho, Yuzuki was looking for you. Ah, uh, I see. Thanks. Is that a book about law? Looks complicated. You're so smart, Norizuki. Do you want to be a lawyer or something when you grow up? So, the divorce mediation began. A few weeks later, we all met up at a family court. Since the husband was violent, we stayed in separate rooms. We didn't have to see each other. The mediator went back and forth between our rooms. Listen, mediators aren't lawyers. Some of them, they don't know a whole lot about the law. But if we want to win this, we gotta get them on our side. Just don't get too emotional, okay? No worries, I'm right here. Okay, then... Good, good. She's doing well. <sighs> I was so nervous, so I gotta do this again in a month? Yeah, but you did good. They know they'll lose if they go to trial. Thank you. I... I couldn't have done this without you. Mogoa, you're not going home? No, I don't like my parents. They're so mean to me. Oh, do you have anyone you can talk to? I don't know. Narizuki, I got a feeling that someday you'll be doing great things. You're going places. I can tell. I want to be like you. I want to go somewhere new and start fresh. Back then, I wanted to help her, but I had no idea how. I thought about it a lot, but I couldn't come up with anything. And I hated myself for it. 
Then, a few months later, her family moved away. I want real power. I want to be able to help someone. A few months later, her husband finally agreed to the divorce. He finally realized he had no shot of winning if this went to trial. But we were still in disagreement about damages and child support. Then, six months later, the divorce was finalized. Thank you so much for everything. This is my job, so... And hey, you can do anything now. Take care, okay? I believe in you. A few years later, there was a class reunion. Man, Sakura was such a bitch. She was cheating on me the whole time. Then, she used up all of my money. Then she sued me for damages. Ah, oh, can you believe her? Wow, I had no idea. I didn't even know you guys were married. Lies, lies, lies. If that was the case, she would have never won. Who are you? Norizuki. I'm a lawyer now. Stop lying, man. I know all about it. Ugh. Wait, you were lying? And wait, you're a lawyer now, Norizuki? That's amazing. So, what really happened? I'll tell you all about it. Some things I can't tell you due to attorney-client privilege, but... I hope I was able to help. Good luck, Sakura. I'm Mizuki Kawazato. I'm 25 years old. I work as a salesman at a small publisher. <sighs> that didn't go well. Whatever. All I can do is pray now. The company I worked for was really small, but... My house... Well, my family's house was huge. Apparently, the Kawazatos go way back in this area. Thanks for the ride! Anything for you, Mizuaki. <laughs> Love ya! Bye! Hey, Mizuki. You just got home? Yeah. Is that your girlfriend? Yep. Jealous. <laughs> My brother was nothing like me. He was so confident. He was tall, good-looking, and good at sports. He graduated from T University. He works for a securities firm. He moves large amounts of money from left to right. Welcome home, Mr. Mizuaki. Mr. Mizuki. He was really good with people, especially girls. The girls were all over him. But I was the complete opposite. I looked pretty lame, and I sucked at sports. I graduated from a mediocre school and worked for a small local company. I don't feel very comfortable around him at home. Mizuaki. Got a minute? He always looked down on me. He always made me run errands. What is it? I just talked to Dad. He wants me to go see this girl, arrange marriage or something. But I'm busy, so you go instead. What? What? Arranged marriage? What are you saying? I'll just make up some excuse and bring you with me. Trust me, it'll work. Wait, but he told you to go. I got a girlfriend. Plus, I don't want to marry some girl my dad found for me. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Just handle it. I'll figure something out, okay? I owe you one. Oh, boy. A few days later, my brother was always like this. But my parents couldn't say anything to him. I had no choice but to obey. Mizuki, why are you here? Where is Mizuaki? Well, uh... I see. Uh, I'll talk to Mizuaki later. But we gotta do something. We're talking about the daughter of the Goriki family. We can't just tell them he didn't show up. Just fill in for him. Don't do anything stupid. Just listen to her and nod. Got it? Just don't mess this up. <sighs> Whatever. Nobody believes in me, I guess. Sir? The Goriki family is here. Hello, I'm Sakura Goriki. It's a pleasure to meet you. Wow, she's so cute! I had no idea. Oh, wow. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I was so nervous. I don't remember much about what happened after that. I barely said anything now that I think about it. <laughs> she had several boyfriends in the past, but... It just didn't work out, you know? Of course. Uh, it's nice out today. 
Ah, uh, what am I saying? Say something more interesting. Yeah. Um, so, Mizuaki, what do you do on the weekends? Uh, I read. I always liked books. Oh, me too. Oh, really? Phew, that's good. What's your favorite book? I just finished reading the Worldwide Mystery series. Ah, I read that too. The pink-haired lady with the sunglasses, right? I love that series. I know, right? I also love The Moon, The Star, and The Wolf by the same author. Ah, oh, you read that too? That's one of my favorites. I heard about the book in Biblio Battle back in high school. That's when I got into books. Huh? Do you know about the Biblio Battles? It's like a presentation competition about your favorite book. Come to think of it, the boy who presented the moon, the star, and the wolf had a similar name as you. Ah, I see. What are the odds, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what else? Oh, well, uh... Sakura. The way she smiles. She's so pretty. But it was my brother she was supposed to be seeing, not me. I was just there to fill in for him. Mizuki, can I come in? How did it go? Uh, good, I guess. Did Dad talk to you? Yeah, he yelled at me, but whatever. She asked me out on a date this Sunday. What are you gonna do? What? No way! I'm serious. Huh? Oh, I took a picture. Oh, she's cute! You said Sunday, right? I'll take it from here. Wait, what? Why? And don't you have a girlfriend? Sure, but this girl might be my wife, so it's different. <laughs> Thanks for this! I couldn't sleep that night. Uh, forget it. She's way out of my league anyways. Sunday. I bet he's having a blast with Sakura right now. But even if she decides to marry him, he's got a girlfriend. He'll just end up hurting her. No. I gotta do something. Oh, help! What the? It's coming from the entrance. Oh, help! It's the devil! Mr. Kawazato! I asked Mizuaki on a date! Why did you bring him? This isn't him! Are you insulting my family? What? Sakura? Is that you? Where is Mizuaki? I want Mizuaki now! He's the one I want to marry! Uh, uh, Sakura? Mizuaki! I'm sorry, Sakura. The thing is, I'm not Mizuaki. I'm Mizuki. My brother told me to fill in for him that day and... What the? Am I seeing things? I'm sorry I lied to you. Please stop, Mizuki. So is you. You're the boy who presented the moon, the star, and the wolf at the Biblio battle. You're the reason I got into books. You showed me a whole new world. I... I'm just so glad I ran into you like this. Sakura. Then, we got married. After all these years. What are the odds, right? This whole experience reignited my passion for books. I was starting to do better at work, too. But sometimes, she can be pretty scary. If you ever want to get rid of your brother, just say the word. I'll do anything for you. Uh, no thanks. Please don't. I'm Kato Kaito. I'm just a pitiful man who missed the last train because he went to work on a Saturday and stayed late. <sighs> I'm off tomorrow. Is it really worth taking a taxi? Is there a cafe or something around here? I was busy looking for somewhere to stay while I waited for the train for the next day. Everyone who's walking around now is drunk. I can't drink, so it's not like I can just go to a bar. Hmm? Is that person okay? She looks sick. It doesn't look like other people will say anything about it, and it wouldn't be a good place to be sick. I pushed myself and spoke to the woman who looked ill. Um, are you okay? Do you need an ambulance? <sighs> I think I drank a little too much. I see, um, what should I do? You probably shouldn't just stay there. <sighs> oh, did you say something? Oh, never mind. 
okay? Um, is there anything I can do? I, I know we're strangers, but... Oh, it's fine. Can you take me to my house? I live nearby. Uh, this woman could barely even walk on her own. I helped her to her house. Is this okay? Can you unlock the door for me? Are you sure you don't need to go to the hospital? The doctor will just tell me that I drank too much and send me home. Really? I don't drink, so I don't know how to deal with it. Can you get me some water? Water? Uh, do you get better with water? I went inside and prepared a glass of water for the woman. Is this better? Crap. I came into a stranger's house. And a woman at that. This is bad. I'm not sure. Uh, I feel sick. W what? Um, what? What should I do? Can you rub my back? This is rough. When should I leave? I, I can't just leave her with how sick she is. I'm sorry for being such a bother. You had something to do, right? Oh no, I'm okay. I just missed the last train because I was trying to finish off my work. Oh, so you're trying to find a place to stay? Yeah, probably just a cafe or a karaoke- Please, stay here. I want to show you my gratitude. Please, just stay here for the night. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I don't know. You can help me if I start feeling worse again. I can't really say no to that. I've ended up staying at her place for the night. Nothing will happen if I just keep to myself. And eventually, I dozed off into a nice slumber. Mm. Is someone looking at me? You look so nice. I like that about you. What is she saying? <sighs> Thank you for today. I like you. Good night. What? She was the one that started getting weird, or, or maybe she was just too drunk and thought I was her boyfriend. Uh, I couldn't fall asleep all night. I heard her kept sleeping in her bed. All right, uh, seems like the trains are moving again, so I'm heading home. How are you feeling? Better? Yeah, I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. I did not expect to get kissed. My heart is uh, still pounding. I'm sure she was just bored. Probably just drunk. I'll probably never see her again anyway. But this unexpected event definitely made me have butterflies. The next morning, an office worker, Kodaki, started talking to me. Good morning, Mr. Kato. Oh, good morning, Miss Kodaki. Thank you for last Friday. Hmm? Last Friday? Did I... Did I do something? Yeah. Did you not notice at all? Uh... I was drunk and couldn't move. You helped me out of the situation. Wait, what? Hold on. That was you? The company's most boring woman? That was her? <laughs> Big surprise, huh? I mean, I was surprised that you came to help me out too. The woman I thought I'd never meet again was in front of me. Once again. Not only that, she was a woman I'd always seen at work. I, I was still at a loss, figuring out she was Kuraki. I still can't believe it. You look completely different. This is my professional look. It helps things run smoother. I normally wear clothes like that on my days off. Do you want me to show you proof? Look, you don't remember this? Th that's the same as that woman. Hey! What are you doing at the office? <laughs> but do you believe me now, right? Yeah, I, I believe in you. So, why did you kiss me? Oh, you noticed? Uh... Uh, yeah. I never thought I'd get a chance to ask, but if you're the same woman, I figured I'd take my chances. Yeah, because I... I like you. I felt that I was lucky that you were taking care of me, honestly. That's also why I said you can stay over. You made me say that much. Can you tell me how you feel? My heart was pounding the whole way home that day. I kept wishing I could meet her again. If you're interested, I'd like to go out with you. Then this is how I started dating Yuria Kuraki. And on the weekend, she wore extravagant clothes on her dates. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Kaito. I'm finally getting used to the big difference in your outfit between work and personal life. Which do you like more? 
I like both, as long as it's on you. I'm Tsukasa Nishikaze. I'm a sophomore in college. I was meeting up with a friend. It all started when I was a freshman. College is awesome! What club should I join? Hmm. Ah, look here. Movie club. Sounds cool. I like movies. Maybe I'll get to make my own film. Let's check it out. Hello? Are you still taking new members? Ah, uh, you a freshman? Come on in. We got a lot of new members this year. Oh, there are others too? Hey, I'm Yuki Ogote. Nice to meet you. This is where it all started. When I decided to join the movie club. I thought we were making films of our own in movie club, but it turns out that wasn't the case. Okay, so, what do you think? Let's go around the room. Uh, we're just gonna watch movies and talk about it? I need to make movies of my own. Well, the script is just amazing, and I love the way it starts. First it focuses on the main character's upbringing, then it pans to the murder. And the characters were amazing too, and the ending, wow, just wow. Thanks, Agiri. I agree. I love the beginning too. And that scene where he confronted her? That was some acting. I agree. He's the only one who can pull it off. And the music, too! Hold on. Let the others speak. What about our new members? What about you, Ogote? It was good. Uh, that's it? She started talking to me more often. You go to the movies often? Yeah. Sometimes I go by myself. I see. I've never been to the theaters alone. There's this movie I want to see, but... Oh. Wanna go together then? We got along pretty well. Soon, we started dating. Yuki was pretty, so there were other guys trying to get with her. But when they found out that I was dating her, they backed off. But there was one thing that was troubling me. Oh, uh, uh, I forgot my wallet at home. Again? You're so clumsy, Yuki. I'll pay for you. And whenever we went out to drinks with friends... Uh, it's 25 bucks per person. I forgot my wallet again. Can you pay for me, Tsukasa? Uh, okay. Just be careful, okay? Rent, sewage, heating... Oh, this is bad. I gotta cut down on my food budget. Ugh. And I gotta save some cash for that party next week. Yuki will be there too. And I'll probably have to pay for her too, so... I started working longer hours to make more money. But I had papers to write too. And I had to take Yuki out from time to time. I was working around the clock. I barely had time to rest. This is bad. I'm gonna be held back a year. I gotta focus on school more. But if I do that, what'll I do for money? Tsukasa, you okay? You never call me back. Mom. Yeah, I'm fine. Just been busy. I see. Don't work too hard, okay? You had me worried. Oh, sorry. She's right. I'm a college student. What am I working so hard for? I gotta stop going out so much. I better tell her. Tsukasa. He's been really stingy recently. Oh, he's so cheap! What? I'm sure he's got a good reason. Wait, doesn't he always pay for you? You shouldn't say things like that. What? So this is my fault? Now, now. Settle down, you two. Cheap. I'm working day and night for her. And that's all she has to say about me? What am I doing this for? That's when I lost all feelings for her. I decided to break up. She said she wanted to stay together, but I refused. After that, I stopped working so much and focused on school. I haven't seen Tsukasa in a while. What's he up to anyways? Uh, he's busy, apparently, whatever that means. Uh, screw him. I'm Rena Hagari. I'm a junior in college. I was out with some friends from Movies Club. He probably stopped showing up because of her. Let's call it a night. Uh, it'll be 25 bucks per person. Oh, 
I'm so sorry. I forgot my wallet again. So what? Huh? Tsukasa isn't here today, so nobody's gonna pay for you. But, uh, but I don't have any money on me. What do you want me to do? That's your problem, not ours. Tsukasa was your boyfriend and he was just being nice. But we're just friends. What makes you think we'll pay for you? This is your problem. You figure it out. I knew it! She never brings her wallet. Yeah, I had a feeling. So, you're gonna pay up? But I really don't have any money. You said that already. So what now? Are you gonna go talk to the manager? I, I, I just don't have any money at the moment. I, I, I want to pay, but I can't. I don't care. Answer my question. What are you gonna do about it? We want to go home. Hurry up. Um, I'm sorry. Will you lend me some money? I'll pay you back. Ah, uh, fine. But if you try to run away from me, you'll regret it. You do not want to cross me, you understand? Oh boy. I don't think we'll be seeing her again. Sounds good to me. We're better off without her. Maybe now Tsukasa will start showing up. Days went by, then weeks. Yuki never paid me back, and she stopped showing up for Movies Club. So I decided to hunt her down. Where's my money? I was going to pay you back today, <laughs> honest. Ah, uh, listen. If you keep this up, you're gonna lose all your friends. You get all the required credits? Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I passed. Good to hear. I heard Yuki stopped showing up for movie club. I haven't seen her on campus either. She started dating this other guy after you, but she was borrowing money from him too, and everyone found out about it. She doesn't have any friends anymore. Oh, that's too bad. Anyways, I'm surprised that you called me, Agiri. Why me? The movie we're seeing today isn't that famous, but I thought it might help you forget about her. Plus, I know you're really into movies, so let's just enjoy the film, yeah? No worries, you don't have to pay for me. Oh, uh, okay. I'm Koki Sakuma, 25. There's this lady at my workplace. Her name is Sanayando. She was the quiet type. Mr. Sakamura, here are the numbers you asked for. Please take a look. Ah, uh, thank you. Sure thing. Um, you've been working a lot recently. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? Oh, I must have bags under my eyes. Thank you. All right then, take care. She was always so nice. Wow, she even did these. I didn't even ask her to. She's so brilliant. She was the quiet type, but she was brilliant. I could never do my job without her help. I kind of liked her too. Everyone, listen up. Ms. Ando will be leaving at the end of the month. We'll be hosting a farewell party at the end of the month. Please, leave your schedule open. What? She's gonna quit? She's getting married? Not that I know of. Maybe she's gonna focus on finding a husband? Ah, uh, maybe. She's 32 already, so... She wouldn't do that. I've never actually talked to her outside of work. I didn't actually know her all that well, to be honest. At the farewell party, I gathered my courage and sat next to her. Thank you for everything. You were so good at your job. You always help me. I'm so sad to see you go. Thank you. <laughs> you always work too hard, Mr. Sakuma. You should ask for help more often. You gotta look after yourself, you know? She's so considerate. She was always so nice to everyone. Um, why are you leaving anyways? You've been working here for a long time, right? Did you get a new job? Uh, no. I have this illness and... The doctor told me to take a break. I gotta be hospitalized, and I'm not sure when I'll be out, so I decided to quit for now. Oh, I see. Are you... okay? Don't look sad. It's a party, right? Oh, right, right. Um, which hospital? I hope you don't mind me asking. I, I, I don't mind, but why? I'll come visit you once in a while. But you're always so busy. You don't have to do that. Just look after yourself. 
She told me it was okay, but I still got the name of the hospital from her. After that, I started visiting her after work. I stopped working late to make time for her. Hey, everything okay with work? Yup. I asked my friend to fill in for me. No problem. <laughs> You're finally learning how to ask others for help. Good for you. <laughs> and it's all thanks to me. <laughs> She's got such a pretty smile. Miss Ando, time to take your temperature. Oh, hello, it's you again. Um, is this your brother or something? Oh, hey. Uh, no, I'm not her brother. I'm her colleague. I got a crush on her. What? Aw, he's cute, Miss Ando. Uh, it's a bit high, but it should be fine. All right, then. I'll leave you to it. Sakuma, I don't tease me like that. I'm not. I really like you. I've always liked you, ever since I can remember. And after you left, I realized how much I needed you, and... Hey, stop it. I'm 32. You know, I'm way too old for you. You should date girls your age. You're not old. What about the other girls at work? They're always talking about you. I don't care. You are the one I want to be with. I was serious about her. So, I kept visiting her at the hospital to hit on her. Misando, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get home? Anything I can do? I'll take you anywhere you want. <laughs> Thanks, but I, I don't even know when I'll get to leave, so just take someone else with you. Not interested. I'd rather stay here then. I want to spend time with you. Nobody else. Oh, Sakuma. Fine. Fine. I'm flattered, really. I'm serious about you. I'm serious about you. Listen, I'm going into surgery soon. I need the surgery if I want to live. But you never know. There are so many things that can go wrong with the surgery, so... So stop coming to see me. Find someone else. Ugh. Tell me this. If you weren't sick, would you have dated me? If I wasn't sick, huh? <laughs> I wish. She didn't answer my question. She always did this when I asked her how she felt about me. But she never said no either, so... I think she liked me too. Then... It was the day before her surgery. I went to see her again to talk to her. Misando, listen. After the surgery, will you marry me? Don't say that. I don't even know if I'll be back. If anything happens to me, it'll just hurt you. I don't care. And your surgery's gonna be a success. I just know it. I'll be waiting. What do you wanna do, Misando? Do you wanna come back and be with him or not? Huh? Yeah, you gotta have faith. Yes, having a positive mindset is really important. And he knows it. That's why he just proposed to you. Mizando, you're gonna be fine. And this man just proposed to you. You gotta tell him how you feel. Tell him. I... Mizando, please. I can't live without you. Will you marry me? I want to go see the flowers at the park once I get out of here. There's this park. It's full of this blue flower called Nemophilia. You got it. No problem. Five years later, every year around April, we go to the park. Koki, let's take a picture. Hey, Sane, do you know the flower language of Nemophilia? Huh? No. It's success everywhere. That's beautiful. The surgery was a success. She was able to go home. After that, we got married and lived happily ever after. I'm Kaito Tsukijima. Today, my fiancé was introducing me to her parents for the very first time. Mom, Dad, this is my fiancé, Kaito. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Hello. Please, come in. They look exactly like Mio. So, where did you two meet? In the city. I saw her, and it was love at first sight. So, I asked her if she wanted to grab a drink. What? Don't say it like that, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> uh, you do work, right? Yep, five days a week. I was off to a good start, but then, when we started talking about school, things changed.
What did you do when you were a student? Play any sports? Uh, well, I dropped out of high school, so I don't remember much. Oh, you dropped out? Yeah, I got sick and I was hospitalized for a while. I see. I'm sorry, but I can't let you marry my daughter. Uh, what? Why, Dad? I know better than to judge a book by its cover, but that's enough. I can't let you marry my daughter. Sir! I had no idea what was going on. He refused to talk to me after that. I had no choice but to leave. I'm so sorry about that. What was his problem? I don't think he liked the fact that I dropped out. I mean, I went to night school after that and got my GED. I even graduated from an online college. I think he misunderstood you. I'll talk to him. But no matter what she said to them, they weren't convinced. Uh, I see. Yeah, I don't even know what their problem is. Screw them. Let's just get married. No, we gotta get their blessing first. If we just go through with it, it'll just make things worse. Kaito. It's okay, babe. I'll figure something out. I started going over to their house, trying to explain myself. Sir, please talk to me. What did I do wrong? Tell me! Get lost! Get away from me! I love Mio! I'll treat her right! Promise, sir! I don't even want to see your face. Get out of here and never come back! I kept doing this for three months, but it didn't work. He didn't even give me a chance to talk to him. Screw it. I don't care if I have to cut all ties with them. I'm marrying you! Mio, thank you. I appreciate that. Really. But we gotta keep trying. I'm sure he'll understand. We can't just ignore them. He's your father. There's gotta be a reason. But what? I gotta find out. It wasn't easy, but we weren't giving up. Just keep at it. Let's just focus on work for now. Tsukajima, ready to go? Yep. All right, let's go then. I was in charge of training at headquarters. One day, I went to one of our branches for training. Today, I'll be covering the new finance system. My name is Tsukajima. I'm a system manager at headquarters. It's a pleasure to be here. All of our subsidiaries will be using the system as well. So if you have any questions, please, don't hesitate to uh, ask. It was Mio's dad! I continued with the program, but I was really nervous the entire time. After the lecture. Um, can I buy you a drink? Uh, sure. I was wrong about you. Sir? You're not mad at me? Of course not. You're Mio's father. But I judge you based off your looks. I was so rude to you. I don't deserve your respect. Um, what didn't you like about me? I'll be blunt. I thought you were one of those bad guys. Huh? Shaved eyebrows, dyed hair, high school dropout. Then you went to night school to get your GED. And you even got your bachelor's degree online. The thing is, I was exactly like you. What? Seriously? Yep. I somehow managed to get a normal job. But compared to others my age, I didn't make as much. But I still have a family to feed. I regretted my past many times. Then I saw you and I was just so worried about Mio. I wanted her to be happy. But I was wrong about you. You're a 
brilliant young man. I'm truly sorry. Sir, I understand. I'm glad we finally got to talk. By the way, I don't shave my eyebrows. They just won't grow for some reason. And my hair? I don't dye it either. The color's a bit light, but yeah. Wait, so you were a normal kid? Yeah, I was the quiet type, actually. I'm so sorry! Sir, please get up! Please! I'm so embarrassed. I hated people who judged people based on their looks. But now look at me. I'm so pathetic. Sir, you just wanted what's best for your daughter. I understand. Don't take it so hard. Tsukajima, you forgive me? Yeah, of course. I mean, you have a point. I do look pretty scary. But Mio, she loves me for who I am. And I guess I just got used to it. It's not your fault. One last thing though, your illness. You're gonna be okay, right? My daughter loves you, so... Of course, I'm totally fine now. I'm not going anywhere. I'll do everything I can to make her happy, sir. Thank you! Mio, I'm truly sorry. I don't deserve your forgiveness, I know. And that's okay. I just want you to be happy. It's fine, Dad. Kaito said it was cool, so it's cool. It wasn't easy, but we finally got their blessing. And this whole thing made our bond even stronger. So, it all worked out. A few months later, we threw a beautiful wedding, surrounded by loved ones. My name is Mamaru Morita. One day in high school, I was talking to my friend about our parents' jobs. Mamaru, what do your parents do for work? My dad is a garbage man, and my mom works as a cashier at the supermarket. Wow, that's so cool! I used to love garbage trucks when I was little. Same. Garbage trucks look so huge and cool when we're young, right? <laughs> really? Morita, your father works as a garbage man? It's Ryoko Kitamura-san. It's unusual for her to start a conversation with me like this. Yeah? <laughs> Working with garbage is such a bottom line job. I always thought that you gave off poor vibes, but now I understand why. I guess it can't be helped if your father is a garbage man. What the hell? <laughs> what? My father is a career bureaucrat. If you try to do anything to me, he won't be quiet about it. Mamaru, calm down! Ugh. I want to say something back, but I shouldn't do anything that'll bring me down to the same level as her. Ryoko Kitamura was one of my classmates that really likes to brag about how wealthy she is. After finding out that my dad is a garbage man, she and her friends laughed and made fun of me. That made me extremely angry. Hey dad, have you ever wanted to quit being a garbage man? Hmm, not really. But garbage stinks and your job is hard in the summer when it's really hot, isn't it? You've never thought about wanting to get another job? When I'm in working mode, the smell is actually fine. Even the heat. Once you get your body used to it, it's not that bad. Your dad is a professional garbage man, so I've never thought about changing my job. A professional? Being a garbage man isn't just about collecting trash. We have to immediately know whether there are non-flammable items in the combustible trash bags. For example, if there's a spray can in the combustibles, that could lead to a life-threatening situation. Your father is skilled at his job. I know that it's not an easy job that everyone can do, so I did my best to become professional at it. Isn't that so cool? It's not cool to be showing off at your age. It was a good story until you started showing off. What? You're joking, right? But... I think that you're cool too, Dad. 
I loved how my dad was proud of his job as a garbage man. That's why I decided not to care about whatever my rude classmates said. 10 years later, a few years went by and I became an employee at a normal company. A CD in its case are considered non-combustible trash, right? I don't think you can burn these. But the girl in the office told me to put it in the combustible trash. Oh, the CD and the CD case are fine in the combustible trash. What? Really? Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. My father works as a garbage man. I was taught everything there is to know about separating trash. That's so cool! Marita-san, you're a huge help! I'm terrible at separating trash properly. Please teach me more about it next time. Of course, just ask me whenever you need me. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's my fault. I'm sorry too. Wait, Kitamura-san? Uh, oh, wait! Huh, I swear that was Kitamura-san. Was she here to collect trash at our company? But I didn't see Kitamura-san again after that day. I was starting to think that I might have mistaken her for someone else when... I saw her being hit on by one of my co-workers at the back exit. Come on, give me your phone number. You should be thankful that I'm making time to talk to an unsuccessful person like you. I'm sorry, but I can't. Please, leave me alone. Hey, what are you doing there? <laughs> Why is he trying to interrupt? We weren't doing anything. Thanks for collecting the trash. You're Kitamura-san. Right? Are you okay? Mm. Kitamura-san, wait a second! I know what you're thinking already. You're probably like, that serves you right. Oh, go ahead. Say it and make fun of me. What? Make fun of you for what? I was teasing you about how stupid your father's job was in high school, and now I'm the one working as a garbage collector. <laughs> now you can laugh at me for being a loser with a terrible job where I have to collect people's trash. Inamura-san, you're working while thinking that you're a loser with a terrible job? <laughs> what? I've never thought that my father had a terrible job, and I don't think that of your work now, Kitamura-san. Someone has to do your job for society to function properly. I sincerely appreciate what you guys do because I think that your work helps support my daily life. It's not an easy job. Didn't you realize that too after you started working? All the heartless things I said came back around to me. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I was... <laughs> I was the one who was honestly garbage. I'm... I'm so sorry about what I said to you before. After Kitamura-san apologized, she went back to work. Still, I was worried about her. So I decided to ask one of my old high school friends about Kitamura-san. Whoa, Kitamura-san? After we graduated high school, her father was arrested in a corruption case. You didn't know about it? What? I didn't know that. It was even on the news. But anyways, I heard rumors that her family split apart after that. I'm not sure what she's been up to after, but her life must have been hard for her. I see. Why? Did something happen with you and Kitamura-san? No, it's nothing. Thanks for telling me. Can't believe she had to go through that. That's why she's a garbage collector now. I mean, it didn't seem like she willingly chose to be a garbage collector. After that, I couldn't stop thinking about Kitamura-san. One day, I gathered the guts to ask her if she wanted to go out to eat at a restaurant with me. She was hesitant, but she reluctantly agreed. I was surprised. <laughs> I didn't think you'd ask to hang out with me, Morita. I'm sorry it was so sudden. I was thinking about you recently and I wanted to get a chance to talk to you. Is there anything you wanted to ask me? Like how I became a garbage collector? I'm pretty sure you already know, but my father was arrested because of a bribery case. Our family separated after that and all my close friends eventually drifted away from me as a result. I see. I was searching for jobs on my own, but it was hard to find one because of my father. I had nowhere to go. But then, someone gave me a helping hand. He gave me food when I felt like passing out from starvation and introduced me to a job as a garbage collector. I'm alive today because of that man. You must have been lucky to have found someone to help you out. If that's so, you really shouldn't bring yourself down based on your job. Morita. 
Nothing changed about you, huh? You had a lot of common sense and were always nice to everyone. I've never even seen you make fun of someone else. Now that I know you forgive me, I feel like I'm a little more confident in my job. <laughs> Thank you, Morita. You really are a good guy. Let's grab food again another time. Huh? Can we? <laughs> You're a strange guy. Kitamura-san and I went out to get a couple more times after that. Six months later, when I was walking around with Kitamura-san, we saw my father. Oh, Mamoru! Oh, are you on a date? Dad, stop it! We're not like that yet! Huh? Not yet? So that means you guys will in the near future. Um, I wasn't saying that. Huh. Miss? I feel like I've seen you before. What? I, I, I'm so surprised. I, I never would have thought that the man that fed me when I was hungry and even introduced me to a job was Morita Kun's father. What? The man you were talking about before? The one that introduced you to her job as a garbage collector was my dad? Uh, I don't even know where I should begin to be surprised. Mamoru, when did you meet this lady? Um, I've known her since I was in high school. What? She was your classmate? Little while after that, Kinemaru-san and I got into a relationship, and my dad was super happy about it. There's a saying that bad things come to those who behave badly, and luck comes around to people who do good things. Still, I'm glad that life doesn't continue to throw terrible things towards people who might have behaved badly in the past. I think that every single person deserves a chance to change into a better person. I learned that it's perhaps the people with a kind heart that give out those kinds of chances. I'm Tsukasa Nozaki. I'm a college student. I have this girlfriend. Her name is Rin. I've been really busy with work lately. Sorry I haven't been able to spend time with you. No worries. Everything okay at work? Yeah, we're just understaffed. That's all. But we're getting more people soon, so no worries. I lied. I want to get her something nice, so that's why I've been working a lot. I see. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? So, um, what do you do when I'm busy? Huh? Oh, I, uh, I watch movies at home, and I work too, so... Oh, I see. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Then I went to the bathroom. When I came back, she was talking to someone on the phone. Who is she talking to? I'm with someone right now. Well, uh, he probably thinks we're dating, but I'm done with him, to be honest. Huh? He's a college student, so he's not very wealthy. <laughs> His gifts are always so lame. What? Uh, I think he loves me, but I need more than that, you know? <laughs> no worries. I got this other guy, I met him through work, and... What? Oh, he's taking me to a nice restaurant. He even booked a five-star hotel for me. Oh, I need a rich guy. Tsukasa? Well, he'll just take me to a normal hotel and give me a lame gift. So I'll just take the gift and cancel on him. I can probably sell it on eBay for some quick money. <laughs> oh, wow. I wish I didn't just hear that. I was working my ass off all this time. And for what? She already has someone else. I guess she never liked my presence either. Oh, boy. Uh, how long does it take to go to the bathroom? Uh -huh. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, sure. You okay? Yeah, I'm just tired. Can we do this some other time? Oh, sure. Oh, and about your birthday. Yeah? It's still on, right? Of course. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, she just lied to my face. She's just gonna take my gift and cancel on me. Forget her. I'm done. I worked my ass off for the past few months. And for what? I was devastated. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't even care anymore. A few days later, it was her birthday. Ren's birthday. Hello? Hey, Tsukasa. I'm so sorry. I can't go today. Huh? What's the matter? This girl at my work got sick, and I gotta fill in for her. Oh, I'm so sorry. I see. Uh... Okay. No worries. Sorry, I'll call you when I'm done. Bye! 
by. I was sad. I decided to grab a drink with a friend. Thought it was your girl's birthday today. She canceled on me last minute. She's with her other boyfriend. What? I explained what happened to him. Seriously? I had no idea she was like that. You're gonna have to pay for the cancellation fee and everything. Nah, I canceled as soon as I found out, so they didn't charge me anything. You breaking up with her? Of course. Why would I keep seeing her? Let's teach her a lesson first. Huh? My friend called up a bunch of friends and we decided to go to the restaurant Rin worked at. It's her birthday today, but she had to go into work and she had to cancel. We feel so bad for her. So let's go over there and throw her a surprise party. Sounds good! Where is she? Hey, is Rin working here tonight? Rin? Uh, no, I don't think so. What? I thought she was filling in for someone. She said it was her birthday today. She said she was going on vacation with this guy or something. What? I, I thought she was dating Sukasa. Wait, she has a boyfriend? My friend's plan worked perfectly. Everyone found out about what she was up to the next day. Sukasa! Oh, sorry about yesterday. Rin. I knew you were planning all kinds of stuff for me. I'm so sorry. I couldn't go yesterday, but you can still give me your gift. <laughs> you got me a gift, right? What's the matter? We know everything. Just stop. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? We, we heard, heard you had to go, go into work, into work so and we, we went there last night. night. You, you know, know, to, to surprise, surprise you. you. What? No, 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 no. But you weren't there, so... Where were you? Tell me. I... Uh, I'm sorry. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Here's my gift. Happy birthday, Rin. You still got a lot of growing up to do. Goodbye. She lost all her friends in college. She also lost her job when the manager found out about what she did. Tsukasa! You heading home? Oh, hey, Yuri. Yeah. You all right? Huh? About Rin. That must have been hard on you. Yeah, I guess, but I'm over her. So, you're okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I was trying to cheer you up, but... Huh? Rin is so stupid. You know all the girls like you, right? She should have taken better care of you. Wait, what? But you're single now, so then I can ask you out, right? I wanted to be the first to tell you this. I like you, Tsukasa. So when you're ready, come talk to me, okay? What? I thought I was done with girls, but wow. I guess things might just work out for me. But I didn't know girls these days were so aggressive. Fine by me. My name is Mizuki Toda. As a kid, I would often get made fun of for my family being poor. Hey, look at poor Mizuki over here. Just went on a Giri for lunch again today. Jerks. So what if I only have one onigiri for lunch? Hey, don't make fun of him. What does how much money he has have to do with anything? He has the best grades out of anyone in our class. He's gonna grow up to be the president of a big company when he grows up. You'll see. You should be careful who you make fun of now. Look, it's Miss Bossy Pants. Let's get out of here. Don't worry about them. Do you want some of my lunch? My neighbor, one year above me, Emiri Kabai, was different from everyone else. She never cared about me being poor, and she always stood up for me. Everyone besides her looked down on my family. It was around when I started going to kindergarten that I noticed that my family was different from everyone else's. We had no electricity, and only the minimum amount of gas and water to survive. We had to eat everything the day it was made. There was no shower, so we had to bathe outside, which was hell in the winter. The house was freezing in the fall and winter, and water leaking through the roof was a normal occurrence. Typhoons were always an ordeal, since our metal roof would get blown off. I got used to the cockroaches and all the other bugs. While I was used to my life, everyone else was not so accepting. Why do you gotta stink so much all the time? Can't you shower like everyone else? If you care so much, then let me use your shower. I've never really used one before. No way! Why do I gotta let you use mine? Hey, what did I tell you? Dang, not again. Let's get out of here. Being protected by a girl, ha! How pathetic. 
I can't believe them. Don't listen to them, okay? I know that you're gonna... I... I've decided. Huh? What you said the other day. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I finally realized what I want to do. Years later, Amiri went on to high school. But everyone else around me was so busy studying for their entrance exams that people stopped bullying me for the most part. Hmm, you have the best grades in the whole class. I think you could definitely make it into the best high school in the prefecture. What do you think? I'm not going to go to high school. Huh? I'm going to get a job. I had been using my time after school to look for a company that would hire me straight out of middle school. Fortunately, after some time, I found a place. Um, this is my first time working, and my first time living on my own, and my first day in Tokyo. But I'm gonna work my absolute hardest. Thank you for this opportunity! Haha, <laughs> I love the positive attitude. That's the most important thing you can have. No need to worry about the age gap. Yeah, we're not gonna treat you like a kid, so be prepared. Of course. I welcome it. My job was at a plant that collected garbage and recycled it. I worked there while following the labor laws for a miner. In addition, I spent all of my time after work studying. Are you studying for your GED? Yes. If I pass it, I can apply for universities without needing to actually go to high school. I figured doing it this way was better since I can spend the time I would have been going to high school working and saving money for university. Wow, what a hardworking guy. Here, have some of my pork. I want to do what I can to help out. Th thank you. After I got my GED, I spent all my time studying for the university entrance exam. Since I wasn't able to attend school or juku, I had to rely on just my self-study, so I was quite nervous. Congrats! You really did it! Thank you! I couldn't have done it without all of you. And like that, I was a university student. Having become interested in it from my job, at university I focused my studies on the environment. Lots of places claim to recycle, but really all they do is burn the garbage. Certainly this has an impact on climate change. Plastic really isn't sustainable because of how hard it is to recycle or dispose of. After graduating, I returned back to my old job at the recycling plant. I did it not only because it was an easy job to get back, but because it was related to what I wanted to do in the future. Fast forward a few years. I quit my job at the recycling plant and used up the money I had saved to start my own business. It was a company that partners with businesses and recycling plants to oversee new systems of recycling. At the same time, we also got sponsors and started doing R&D on a plastic substitute that was made from natural materials and biodegradable. Progress was slow, but eventually the company grew. A few years later, maybe I should buy a car. No, I really should use that money for more R&D. Hmm? Why do I feel like I know that person from somewhere? Could it be? No way, I'm all the way in Tokyo. But, maybe... The next stop is Sekafushi Sekafushi. <gasps> Ow! What do you think you're doing, bitch? Are you okay? Yes, thank you. Um, would you happen to be Emiri Kabai? <gasps> W wait it's me, Mizuki Toda! If it really is you... Stay away! I didn't want anyone I know to see me like this. Why are you here? Seeing her then for the first time since middle school, she didn't have any of the spunk she had back then. I could tell right away that she had gone through a lot in the ten years or so since I had last seen her. After you left Tokyo, my parents got a divorce and I ended up living with my dad. He got married again about a year later, but his new wife didn't want me around. That's why I decided to go to university in Tokyo. I didn't want to go back home, so I stayed and got a job here. But it didn't go as well for me as it apparently did for you. Every guy I dated ended up deceiving me and taking all the money out of my savings. I got laid off because of the poor economy, and I don't have any place to live anymore. I guess I'll go back home. My life here is over. Amiri-san! You were the one who stood up for me when everyone else was making fun of me. You were the one who said that I'd become the president of a company someday. You saying that gave me so much hope! My life back then was like being in a pitch black cave with no exit. 
and you gave me a light and showed me the way out. That light I've always kept burning and carried with me. I've always wanted to thank you for that. Please, let me return the favor. Like that, Amiri and I started living together. She helped out with not only chores, but my work too. It didn't take long for us to fall in love with each other. Do your mother and father still live in the same house? Yeah, though I do send them money to help keep them afloat. I don't think they intend on moving anytime soon. Oh, don't worry. I'll invite them to a restaurant when I introduce you to them. Hey, is that Mizuki from middle school? Poor boy Mizuki! <laughs> hey! Mizuki is the president of his own company now! I wouldn't make fun of him if I were you! Miri continues to stand by my side and stand up for me, even now. Saying the smallest thing could have the biggest impact on someone's life. I hope Mizuki and Emiri have a happy life together. What do you think of today's story? Leave a comment below and remember to check back tomorrow for more. See you tomorrow. Bye! Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.